I made an ear saver. Look how pretty that looks. So these are waves, crochet waves. And you can, I had this pattern some time ago, so I decided that maybe I'll try it to use for ear savers. And I'm leaving a long tail at the beginning, and I am going to cut my work and leave a long tail at the end. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine waves. And let's see, it measures about six inches. Let's see. No, it's, yeah, like six inches. Maybe five and a half. Okay. So let's start doing this. You make your slip knot. I'll make a, I leave a long tail. And you make your slip knot. And cr make four chains. So that's one, two, three, four. Now on that first chain, you are going to make eight double crochets. So that's One, no, the, the, these three count as one, the three chains up. So that I have two, whoops, okay, let's do that again. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now I'm going to chain three, that's one, two, three, and I slip stitch into that same stitch where I made the eight. So slip stitch. There we go. Now on that first, those three first chains that we made, we're going to make the same thing. So one, two, three chains up and then eight in total. So we already have one with the three chains up and that's two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. Three chains up, one, two, three, and slip stitch into that same space. Next once you slipped into that same space, you're going to chain three. One, two, three, turn. And into that first three chains on your left hand, there, you're going to do eight double crochets in total. So the three chains counts as one, and that's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
and eight. Oops, I have a little knot there. I'm just going to snip it off because it's only one strand. Okay. So now I have my eight, two, four, six, eight, chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch into that same space. And so let's do that again. One, two, three chains up, turn, and into that three chains, the first part on your left hand side, you make your eight double crochets in total. So that's three from the chain that's one, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Chain three, one, two, three, and bring it back into that same space and slip stitch. So see how those are keep doing? So you keep doing that, you keep doing like the last one, that means that you're going to chain three, one, two, three, turn, and you do your eight into that space on the left. So that would be two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight, chain three, and bring it back to the same space with a slip stitch, and then chain three and turn and repeat. And this is the way they it looks so pretty. So I will come back when I finish this so that I can show you because you can put buttons or you can use these little things that I bought online. They're like, you know, like the things that you wear for the bras but these are bigger like for bathing suits. And I made this uh, with a single crochet using the back loop. So I'll come back. Okay, so I made this one a little bit bigger. This one has 10. So let's see how much this one measures. This one measures 6 inches. So that's good. That's good. So now I can either put buttons on the sides or put these dubidados on, on the sides. I'll take some pictures. I hope you enjoy the the video. This is a lot of fun to make. Thank you for watching. Share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe and I'll see you next time.